has really corrupted the youth of America. What it does is it makes men dirty old men, and it makes 20-year-old girls, or around that age group, prostitutes, basically. They're sugar babies for the sugar daddy. I mean, come on. I mean, come on, give me a break. A couple shows ago, I had uh, mentioned a girl friended me on Facebook, and she immediately started asking me about, you know, trying to get iTunes cards for her. But I have had so many before, and you asked me for money just in general, you know, on Instagram, on Snapchat. And I, at one point, I deleted Snapchat. Well, I have decided to do a little undercover work. This is going to be a, a few episodes on this top with the internet and uh, social media allowing women to use it for financial gain. So, I started. Uh, last night, I went on Tinder, which is a very well-known hookup app. But last night, I got a, a hit on Tinder. That's, that's a lot. I got a couple of hits on Tinder. Last night, one in particular is what I knew. I was going for it. So I got a hit on Tinder from a from a girl who's about 20 years old. She is 20 years old, or according to what she says. Hopefully this girl doesn't catch wind of any of my videos. Kind of the jig is going to be up. Immediately she says to me, you know, I, I don't really use Tinder that much. Would you prefer to use Snapchat? Now, Snapchat I had since deleted, I told you. And I know Snapchat is one of the, the social media apps that does allow people to send money. Well, and I told her the truth. I said, well, I, I got rid of that app, but if you, if you feel more comfortable, I, I'll be more than happy to, to re-download it. You know, what's your Snapchat name? So she immediately gave it to me. I said, okay. So I re-downloaded Snapchat, logged back in, took me a couple minutes to remember what the email account was and, and uh, my password, and I logged back in successfully. And uh, she immediately sent her the little request, and it was called on Snapchat, but she immediately branded it or whatever the heck it's called, and uh, started talking to her. And I didn't waste any time, because this is not for me to really do. This is I want to get to the bottom of this. I'm making videos on this shit. So I said, so listen, I said, uh, but if it happens, it happens. I don't really care. I'd like to see if I can get this thing out there, though. I would really like to expose this. And um, maybe we can start working on getting America back to being America.